Hello, my name is Kevin Ray. I'm presenting my class project for WGD 310. The assignment was to create an interactive website. The first step was to create a theme for the site. I've always thought it would be fun to open my own guitar shop, so I decided on a guitar theme. I found this free image on pixabay.com. I knew when I saw it, this would be the shape or the theme of my design. I used the image to create a background pattern in Photoshop for my web page. The next step was to create a logo. Again, I used the guitar image as a guide. I chose chords, that's with a K for Kevin, as the name of the business. And I used the guitar image to shape the logo text. I created an animated GIF for the logo on the home page. I wanted a fun look. The animated logo helps to create excitement. I was also able to add the store hours on the door and the address on the mailbox. My next goal was to create an overlay, which is a graphical content box that appears above the background content. To begin this, I first designed a photo gallery that is labeled on the navigation bar. Then, as you select the, any of the images, an overlay appears with a larger version of that image. You can also conveniently scroll through the other images in the overlay. This type of photo gallery could be used to show recent customer purchases or other fun events. Speaking of images, I used a lot of images on my site Many of them were free from pixabay.com. Others are photographs or images that I created myself. I have cited my images in a separate PDF file that can be accessed by selecting the cited images icon on the bottom right of the footer. My next task was to apply jQuery to validate the input data of a form. It is labeled on the navigation menu as contact. So first you would enter your name, but if you click submit then, you can see the error messages. Then you enter your email, in the correct format, passwords, confirm password, both of which must match, then your interest, date of birth in correct format, type of music, newsletter, and as you can see you get the thank you for submitting message. Next on the agenda was to animate a web page element. So let's take a look. Under products and down to games. I have created a tab panel with three tabs. Each tab has a different guitar game. I applied jQuery to help create the tab panel, and I used JavaScript to employ animation to the game images. As you can see, when you change tabs to get, choose a different game, the image seems to explode. Interactivity is becoming increasingly important in web design. Engaging the user to keep them on the site longer has been proven to increase conversions. By the way, conversions means achieving the desired action, which could be completing a form, making a purchase, etc. That concludes my presentation, and thank you for your time.